Looking for a great communication tool for your business? If the answer is yes, stick around to find out more. Roll the titles. Hello to you and welcome to The Hive, the home of everything news, reviews, interviews and more. If you haven't been here before, my name is Ryan and if you want to keep up to date with all things tech, all you need to do is make sure that you hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. In any business, being able to communicate effectively is the key to success. You may have colleagues who work from home, out on the road or even in different offices around the world and having a great communication and collaboration tool is an absolute must have. In this episode, we're going to go through five ways to enhance your workflows with Microsoft Teams. So let's jump in and check out five great features that you can use right now. So at number five is voice and video calls. Being able to communicate quickly and effectively is a must in the day and age we live in. Microsoft Teams gives you the ability to make voice and video calls straight from your PC or Mac to people outside of the organization or most usefully people within your organization, meaning that you're no longer tied to your desk phone and the beauty about Microsoft Teams is that it's really easy to do, it's really easy. All you need to do from Microsoft Teams, you'll go, for example, in this session, I'm gonna call our producer, Jay. I'm gonna give him a call, that's who we wanna speak to. When you go into your particular chat, there's icons in the top right-hand corner. I wanna give him a voice call, so I'm just gonna tap call. Hi, Jay, it's Ryan. Hi. Hi, now, as you can see, uh, we have got Jay on our video call here as well because not only can you make voice calls, you can also do video calls as well. And that's the beauty about being this kind of collaborative, working around everywhere. It's absolutely, it's a brilliant tool to have. Uh, Jay, I'm going to leave you now because uh, I'm in the studio filming. Whereabouts are you? Uh, I'm on mute. Oh, no, I'm not on mute. Hello. Um, I'm also in the studio, but you know, I'm the other side of the camera. He's there, he's behind the camera, you see? That's how, we even use Teams when we're this close. <laughs> That's how good we like it. Thanks for joining me, Jay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so it is that simple and that easy to use. So at number four is the real-time screen share. When we work in an industry with offices in various locations spread far and wide in the UK or even overseas, or even you might have teams that work out remotely, being able to share work or a project that you may have been working on is a great feature. This works uh, across conference calls and one-to-one -one sessions. And the beauty about Teams is, again, it's really simple to do. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. So once again, Jay is a very busy man today. He's taking a lot of my time up. So I'm gonna share my screen with him. And to do that, there's a little icon here just in the top corner where it says, start sharing your screen. And I can now virtually share my screen with him so he can view what's on my screen. So I wanna show him some work that I've been doing. So I'm gonna share either my desktop option here or the window. So I'm gonna share my window. So, and it's as simple as that. I tap it, it sends the request off to Jay and he can now have view of my desktop. As another added feature to this as well, if I was working on a particular document, I can also using this give Jay permission to share and also access things on my screen as well, which is a really good feature to have as part of this collaborative working and working in different offices is great. So I've shared my screen with him now. So now I'm gonna try and share some stuff with him. So we're working on the same document here and say, I want Jay to see this video. I click this link and he can now view exactly what I'm viewing. Once again, another great tool for collaborative working. So at number three is the Microsoft Teams app. Now we all need to be able to grab our work and pretty much go, 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 right? It's a fast pace. Communication in your company or your role doesn't need to stop when you leave your desk. And with Microsoft Teams app, you can do exactly that. The app allows you to do everything you normally would do on the normal desktop app. You can still use the chat function, schedule team meetings, make voice and video calls, and it's all done through a simple interface. But making calls on the app is really simple, and it's as simple as this. So I can go into my Microsoft Teams app here. There it is. And once again, Jay needs my attention. I need to give him a call. So let's give Jay a call there. And I'm now treating this like a mobile phone. So you can see his picture's coming up there. And I'm speaking to Jay now. Jay, hi, how are you doing? You okay? I'm good, I'm good. 
And there you go, and you can treat this just like a normal phone call. Thanks, Jay. Bye. Mm. And it's as simple as that. Now, not only can you do voice calls on here, uh, you can also send messages and other communication out, and it's even simpler. So if I want to talk to Jay once again, he's a busy man. Uh, so I'm going to go to my chat. There's Jay, there he is, and it's a similar interface to programs that you've seen on social media. It's that kind of outfit. And I'm going to send him a message. Hi, Jay. Thanks again and send and there you go and I can do this whilst I'm working out remotely working on the road and it makes communication really fast really quick and there he is and he's replied back so the uh, Microsoft Teams app is another great addition and it's available on both iOS and Android at number two is editing Office 365 documents as Microsoft Teams is part of the Office 365 suite, it comes with editing features for many of the popular file types. Things like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. These can all be natively edited within Microsoft Teams, as well as being able to collaborate with other team members live. Uh, you can do this both on the desktop or through the app. Gone are the days where you need to email the document, edit it, then send it back. They're gone. Forget about it. Don't even think about it. And I'm going to show you how simple it actually is. So I now, I'm going to send a message over to Jay. I'm going to try and send him a message and work on a document that we've been working on. So as you can see now, here we are. This is a document that I've sent over to Jay in the past uh, to kind of preview and approve it before we go live with it. But I've decided I need to make a change to it. So you can literally click on it and it opens up Microsoft Word natively within Microsoft Teams, meaning now I can add a quick typo onto there. So I'm gonna put, thanks for watching. And it'll save automatically. So then that means now when Jay can go into the document and see that I've made the change. And this is a perfect way of showing how live collaboration between you and other team members can work really, really well. And another great benefit of Microsoft Teams. And at number one is integration. We've already mentioned that Teams integrates with Office 365 apps, but integration doesn't have to stop there. Through the inbuilt app features, you can add things like Adobe Creative Cloud, Workforce, Evernote, SurveyMonkey, and loads more. Now, to find out how you do this, it's all done in simple clicks. Within Microsoft Teams, there's a button just at the bottom that clearly says Apps. All you need to do is just tap on that. This is how simple it is. Tap on that and it'll bring up to you a host of possible integrated apps that you may use in your business daily. There are loads and you can even search for them as well. Definitely worth having a look through, seeing which ones are integrated with your business and what you can use on a day-to-day -day basis. So there you have it, five great features that can help your business grow and thrive. Do you have Microsoft Teams? What's your favorite feature about it? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to check out more from The Hive, all you need to do is head over to chessict.co.uk forward slash The Hive. See you on Thursday for more from The Hive. Bye-bye for now.